Tesla Model 3 vs Toyota Prius Prime. Copyright 2019-00 Crash Test, All Rights Reserved. Now that the $35,000 Tesla Model 3 is out, we can make a fair comparison of Tesla against Toyota, for who makes better electric cars. Now, we'll pit Tesla's Model 3 against Toyota's high-selling Prius Prime, sold as the Prius plug-in hybrid in some countries. To be fair, we'll limit this study to vehicle identification number year 2019 for the Tesla, as Tesla does not use model years, and model year 2019 for all other cars. We'll evaluate price, punctuality, reliability, repair costs, mass, battery capacity, ergonomics, external dimensions, and range. First, price. The Model 3 has a manufacturer's suggested retail price, commonly known as sticker price, of $35,000, whereas, the Prius Prime is a much more affordable $27,350. The Prius Prime is already affordable for the typical person, so it is arguably a people's car. At least for Americans. And that is excluding the United States of America's federal government tax credit and state purchase rebates. In California, after the $3,750 federal tax credit and $2,500 state rebate, the Model 3 effectively costs $28,750 for a wealthy person, pitting it against the Toyota Camry Hybrid sticker price. For the Prius Prime, they are $4,502, $1,500, and $21,348 respectively for a wealthy person, pitting it squarely against the Toyota Corolla's mid-range SE sticker price. Unfortunately, Tesla does not operate dealers, so prices are set in stone and cannot be negotiated, or more precisely, haggled. This means the cheapest Model 3 will cost, at the very least, $28,750. Even in its home state, the competition's Prius Prime before haggling is ironically still more preferable. On the other hand, the Prius Prime has an average haggled price of about $26,500, according to Kelly Blue Book, which means it's effectively only $20,498 for the wealthy, pitting it directly with the cheap Corolla LE Echo sticker price. Elon Musk certainly does not live up to his affordability lies. Even worse, poorer people likely owe less than $3,750 in federal income tax, which means they can't take full advantage of the credit. Elon Musk can only dream about his cars competing with the most average cars like the Camry and Honda Accord, let alone inexpensive cars like the Honda Civic and Corolla. The Prius Prime is surely much more affordable than the Model 3. Also, don't overlook the fact that insurance is a lot more expensive for the Model 3. Second, punctuality. Tesla is always late on its availability promises. This time, being almost one and a half years late from the original end of 2017 promise, whereas, Toyota delivers on time 99.9999 plus percent of the time. When one's desperate for a new car, they surely can't count on Tesla, or else, they'll instantly be fired from their job because they'll not be able to travel to work. Isn't it so sad that a late delivery Tesla makes a family lose their mortgaged home because their income was cut off? Third, reliability. Tesla cars break down often, especially with all the fancy unnecessary electronics. Don't count on Tesla on getting to work as it may leave you sadly stranded on the side of the road on a brutal winter day. In fact, you may get hypothermia when your Model 3 strands you, leading to expensive medical bills, perhaps even death if the ambulance does not arrive on time. Most pathetic is the fact that a car made in 2019 already has major problems when it's fresh off the line. All Tesla models are notorious for having not just inconsistent, but also large panel gaps. Some online jokes about Teslas are that the panel gaps are as wide as the Grand Canyon, and that occupants would be ejected in collision through the panel gaps. This means any car without problems immediately off the line is already infinitely more reliable than Tesla. This means that for every trouble-free mile in a Tesla, the reliable first on race day Ford F-150 would have far exceeded the edge of the universe distance-wise. Most mechanics hate Tesla for a reason. Just look at Scotty Kilmer's viewpoint on Tesla on YouTube. Just a week ago, Consumer Reports pulled the Model 3 from its recommendations for the dismal reliability. Whereas, the Prius, like most other Toyotas and Hondas, typically lasts half a million miles before the first mechanical problem. The Prius is bulletproof. Tons more people drive Toyotas and Hondas than Teslas for a reason. Furthermore, as Teslas are not even capable of reaching beater car age, which is roughly 15 years or older, due to terrible reliability, the poor man could never afford a Tesla from the current lineup. The poor man suffers even more. So much for Elon Musk's false affordability promises. Whereas, early 2000s beater Prius Us can now be had for $3,000. At least the factory worker gets the option to drive an eco-friendly car. Fourth, repair costs. As Teslas, Model 3 included, contain a lot of fancy electronics, they costs an arm and a leg to repair. Whereas, Toyotas, Prius Prime included, like all normal reliable Japanese cars, are fairly simple, so they can be repaired for a fraction of a Tesla. Furthermore, do-it-yourself DIY repairs on Teslas are virtually impossible. 
Fifth, mass. As the Model 3 has more mass than the Prius Prime, more material is needed, and more mining is required. Consequently, the Model 3 is less environmentally friendly. So much for hypocritical Elon Musk's environmental goals. Moreover, as mentioned in the previous Model S vs Prius video, the Prius Prime's lower mass means that it is more easily pushed by the carpoolers to the mechanicus to avoid towing fees, further saving money. Sixth, battery size. Everyone knows how harmful rare earth metal mining is to the environment. As the Model 3 has battery with a much higher capacity, it is much larger, so it contains much more rare earth metals. Hence, it is much more polluting to manufacture than the Prius Prime. Seventh, ergonomics. The Model 3 has poor rear visibility due to the trunk lid being too high, whereas the Prius Prime solves that despite having a high tailgate spoiler, by adding a small window below the spoiler. Furthermore, the Model 3 has no instrument cluster directly in front of the steering wheel forcing the driver's eyes off the road by looking at the touchscreen. Even turning on the air conditioner or changing the radio station is a challenge in the Model 3. It's appalling how a car that forces distracted driving is allowed on the road. Whereas, the Prius Prime is much safer as the driver can just adjust the ventilation and radio by tactile feel, so he can keep his eyes on the road the whole time he does that. 8. Exterior Dimensions The Model 3 is marginally longer and significantly wider than the Prius Prime, meaning that it is significantly harder to park into narrow spaces. Ninth, range. Now that we've talked about how the Prius Prime is better than the Model 3, we'll give the Model 3 a redeeming chance to be courteous. The Model 3 has a battery electric range multiple times that of the Prius Prime. This is the one factor where the Model 3 excels. In conclusion, Elon Musk is surely lying about his products being affordable. While the Model 3 wins in one category, it loses in all of the remaining eight. Overall, the 2019 Toyota Prius Prime is definitely better than the 2019 Tesla Model 3. Toyota definitely makes the better electric car. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Zero Zero Crash Test. Remember to ring that notification bell.